you know, create and, and litter the world with uh, toxic materials and, and chemicals. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so this morning I woke up and I had a huge cancellation, so I figured I might as well use my time wisely. So, went, grabbed my computer from UPS, so new videos with better quality coming to you very soon. And I also picked up some odds and ends for uh, a trip that I'm going on this weekend. While I was picking up odds and ends, I came across an end cap at Target that had this Jello mold kit. Uh, on clearance for like 350 I don't know if you can, it doesn't matter the price, but I thought, I'm not gonna really use this for jello mold making, but I figured I could probably use it for toy making. So I think I'm gonna put some stuff in here and, and try and make some, some molds out of these Star Wars jello molds. And I thought, I went to uh, Michael's right after that because the Target was right next to Michael's, and I got some. Some magnets, and I also picked up some of these uh, this jewelry and metal glue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these guys into counterfeit Star Wars refrigerator magnets. So let's start with the process and see where this takes us. Yeah! So not the most ideal setup as far as trying to show you guys what's going on here, but I'm going to do it anyway. So. I got my amazing casting resin right here, and I got my mold. Now, I learned my lesson the first time. You gotta spray this thing with some mold release, or else the plastic isn't gonna come out. I recommend that you don't use this, because I'm finding that the stuff kind of coagulates and kind of separates and does weird stuff. That's right, everything looks like all rough and nasty. Now, when you're mixing this casting resin stuff, a little bit goes a long way. I like to just go ahead and use these bigger cups. Not that they're huge, but it just gives me a little bit more room to mess up. But let's just go ahead and start this pour stuff. And when you do this, you want to do it in a well-ventilated area because it's pretty toxic, this stuff. The plastic dries really fast, so when you pour, you don't want to get a lot of air bubbles or anything in there because it'll affect what you're doing. But you also want to make sure that you're moving quickly because otherwise the stuff will start to freeze up on you. All right, looks like a pretty good mix to me. Let's start pouring. Sweet, we're all done. It takes about 10 minutes for these things to set up. Um, usually I wait a little bit longer just so they really harden up because sometimes when you pull them out they'll be a little soft and pliable. Yeah, so let's just sit, let these sit and then after they're done sitting uh, I'll hit them with a little bit of a base color and then I should probably get going to work soon so then we'll take this video uh, into the evening. So I'm going to give you a close up really quick of what this is looking like just so you can get an idea of how fast it actually works. Check it out. So you can see how I just poured these, I mean, maybe a, a couple minutes ago, not even a couple minutes ago, you know, a minute ago, and they're already starting to um, change color. The plastic will be like this white color. And then over here, you can see there are, they're really starting to change color. And I'm not gonna do that one. I'm not gonna do the Yoda, just because the Yoda looks so cheesy and I have a feeling the shape of it isn't gonna translate well to a refrigerator magnet, so. No to Yoda. So I'm pretty sure I gave these things plenty of time to sit. So why don't we uh, check out what we got here and pop these things out of the mold. This came out quite nice. I think R2 is the only one that stuck. They turned out pretty, they turned out really nice. And I just have to go through and just kind of scratch off some of the like you know the, the excess material here to kind of smooth it out a little bit and once I um, rinse these guys off because the paint won't stick with this Pam on here so I'll just go ahead and give these guys like a little scrub bath and then come back out here and paint them. Part of the whole thing I think you can see this is that you just kind of go through and you just kind of scrape all the there's like there'll be like a little lip of plastic all around the edge and you don't have to do this but I kind of what I think it's you should just because it just kind of takes off this weird little edge that's gonna 
break off anyway. And not that it really matters because part of the, the whole you know, reason of doing it, uh, you know, or, or part of the whole thing is like you kind of want them to look ghetto. You kind of want them to look all beat up and handmade. It, you know, you're obviously not making like a real, true, sweet quality product here. You're just trying to do this for something cool, kind of cool. All right, this is boring, so I'll spare you with this. Maybe like, let's do a little time lapse here. As you could probably tell by the way that time lapse went, that I am a total amateur at doing anything of the sort like this. This is not the right way of doing any of this stuff. I'm just kind of going and seeing what works for me. I've learned in my personal life that I won't do anything unless I'm firmly planted on the ground and ready to start moving in a forward motion until I start doing it. And I feel like, you know, I got the idea of how to pour things and mix things and, and you know, actually come out with a, a product, but I'm not doing this right. There's people that are probably, you know, if you watch this in your toy maker, I'm sorry for making this such a cringeworthy video, but this is just for experimentation and I, I need to be better about just diving headfirst into things rather than, you know, dipping my feet in the water until I'm ready to swim. So this is definitely, that. So let's paint these guys. I'm kind of limited as far as what colors I have at spray paint. And I'm going to spray paint these just because I'm lazy and I can't, and like I said earlier, I want them to look kind of crappy. So let's let's spray these guys. I'm going to do another time lapse and just kind of pick them at random. I don't know. Maybe some of them will be silver. Maybe some of them will be, I have some yellow over there. I don't know. So let, let's party on that. Woo! just the base colors and here's a little close-up of those pocky marks you can see all over here that's created by this one's even worse that's created by the Pam Pam is crap and I don't it, it's weird stuff it was hard to even get off this stuff so this is just a base color of what I'm doing with these guys um, they'll I'll, I'll obviously get into some detail work here and whatnot uh, I, I didn't have any brown so it's go, he's going to be a blue baka be sure to paint in a well-ventilated area. I'm using this tiny little room in my garage, but it's it's fine for, for somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, we're gonna let these guys dry. I gotta go to work and come back tonight and then finish these guys off. And I'll just kind of show you what I'm gonna do with them. I'm, I'm gonna texture them a little bit and do some more painting and whatnot and then attach the magnets. And we'll have our, our finished product by the end of the night. Yeah! So I feel like this video kind of took on a life of its own and turned into something that I really didn't want it to be, which is like a, a grueling process of toy making. And really, like, there is no rules to this stuff. I mean, at the end, you're gonna have a product. So I'm not quite finished with these, but that's okay because there's gonna be in another video soon where I'm gonna show off some of these refrigerator magnets and I'll kind of give you an idea where I'm at right now with them. I'm just kind of painting over some of the stuff and just spraying, I sprayed some red on there and some black and just kind of highlighting some of the features and whatnot. I don't know, this isn't gonna, this isn't the finished product by any stretch, but it just got to this point where I'm like, this is stupid and boring and I don't want to like bore you guys with like the minutia of, you know, the, I don't know, it's just, whatever, it's, it's over, it's done. I want to make some toys, I want to make some sculpts and I'm having Ray Paez, who I'll leave a link to his site below, I'm having him do some Goobers sculpts, and I plan on casting those sculpts, base coating them with some paint, and then sending them back off to Ray to make these things shine. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. Stay tuned for the announcement video, which is gonna be coming up in the next couple of days. And I uh, hope you liked it. If you did, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment below if you wanna see me do something different with <laughs> jello molds. And uh, subscribe if you haven't, because that really is an awesome thing when people subscribe to my channel. And uh, be kind, folks. Rewind. And I'll see you in the next one. Chicken!